Sweaty. I just washed this hoodie and I'm gonna have to wash it again tomorrow. But it's okay. So we're gonna drop the luggage and then head out onto the streets and see what's out there. It's tight in here. I know. Skin glistening. The sweat feel different over here in Japan. <laughs> okay. Hello. Guys, and how we feeling? Good and tired. Are you coming out tonight or are you staying in? I don't know yet. You look like you're staying in. Here we go. We just made it in the spot. Very cozy, very roomy. I'm all sweaty. Got armpit sweat. I'm about to change out this hoodie into something different. About to wash my face, all that good stuff. But we're all four staying in here. I'm probably gonna stay on the couch. And they got that room. So everyone looks tired. I still got energy though. All of look tired. So if I gotta go out by myself, I'ma do that. Right. How far do we how long do we travel? Forty days and forty nights. <laughs> but I'm about to get my wings with a Red Bull. So Red You said we drove? I was about, that's how delirious that's I am. She I was said. about to you say, heard? I drove she drove all the way to Japan. Hey. Where are you next time? You drove. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. I'm about to wash this face, wash underneath my arms, put some deodorant back on, some little cologne. Let's go. It's still early. It's only 10 p.m. Robbie done for though. And it is packed out there. Good night, Robbie. Little outfit change. We got the green little crop jacket on with the same pants with the MB550s that are dirty. I need to clean them. We're gonna head out. See what Japan's talking about. Over in the famous family mart, 
grab just a box of hockey stick. This is the only thing I know. There's so many different things here to try, so I made a rule. Every time I see a Family Mart, I come in and buy something new to try. I'm gonna go with something safe. This thing, I had this in America before. We're gonna try how this version tastes, but there's so many different things here to try. I'll be back for some new stuff, but we're gonna go check this out. Where are you from? Let's go. LA? Like that? Outside of LA. Okay, that's where they live at. Oh, nice. Like what part? Uh, San Bernardino County. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Like Corona. Rancho. Rancho. Yeah. When did y'all get here? We got to Tokyo oh, today. Tokyo. We were in Kyoto Saturday. We got here today. Oh, wow. We just got off the train. Are y'all influencers? We, not really. Y'all no. got all these we're just, cameras. We're just like, we're we, it's a hobby. Yeah, yeah. It's a hobby. Are you influencer? Depends on who you ask. Hey, hey, own it. Own it. <laughs> own it. Own it. Yeah. Maybe I should. Maybe I should. Are you lifestyle influencer? Uh, sort of, kind of. I'm a director, so I travel around the world doing oh. like music videos for people. This is vacation. Oh, vacation. you're working. Oh, you're working. Good. We're yeah. working on vacation. <laughs> sort of, kind of. This is for me, though. This is for me. Yeah. So, nice. yeah. Where What's there from? to do around here? We've been, we, we just got Tokyo, though. I'll tell you what, we've been picking up drinks from the convenience store just walking okay. around. <laughs> uh, family Mart, Family yeah. Mart. No, literally, yeah, Family That's Mart. That's where we just came from. 7-Eleven, they got like the cute little cans. She said, let's go back to the Family <laughs> Mart then. <laughs> Y'all, the Uniqlo is like a five minute walk from where we stay at. Uniqlo is one of my favorite stores. Every time I see a Uniqlo, I have to go in and buy some stuff. I usually get their t-shirts, their Airsim boxy tees, because they look so good on the way my body is. Um, I think I'm gonna wait though. I don't wanna buy anything yet, but we're definitely gonna come back here and buy something eventually. <laughs> time I walk past a family mart, I realize how many there are. I'm gonna amend my rule and say, whenever I have finished a snack from Family Mart, I'm gonna go in and buy a new snack because I'm gonna go broke if I buy something at every Family Mart. There's like five that I've seen so far. So that's the new rule. The McDonald's in Japan is the best. Close. Close. All right. I'll take the miso. Miso. We're doing miso. Chicken. We're doing chicken miso. miso. I'm glad that didn't work because I did not want my first meal in Japan to be McDonald's. That's so ghetto. That is so American. That's so American. Let's go find an authentic Japanese place. Ooh. Thanks to Ramen Spot. You pay for it outside, you take it to the thing. I gotta have that like you said though. I'm on 1%. I don't have any battery left on this camera. We're gonna eat. I'm gonna hopefully get a clip of the food. Then I'm gonna run back to the place we're staying, grab another battery, and then come back out. But it's been really fun seeing Tokyo so far. We're in the Shibuya area. It's very beautiful. Um, we're here grabbing some ramen. Um, and I don't know what we're doing next, but I'm having fun. I hope y'all are enjoying Japan with me. I'll see y'all after I eat. Back in the crib. It's 1 a.m. Damn! And we got some snacks. We got some little matcha joints. You need Ooh. to try it on camera. We got some matcha. You said it tastes like matcha pirate booty. Mm -hmm. We got yes. some sea salt, rice, crunch rice crackers. And then you already know we got the pocket sticks. Yeah. Let's taste these little snacks we got. Mini shimmy choco corn matcha crispy and melty. <laughs> this is the English translation, I guess. We're gonna try it, see what it tastes like. That's what they look like. That's not bad. You it's didn't like these? not bad, but this one's worse. That one's worse? Yes. Out of five, I give this like a three out of five. I'm gonna finish these. Salt to the soft crunch rice crackers. Probably got one in her hand behind the microphone. <laughs> That's what it look like. Let's see. 
Uh huh. <laughs> it tastes like sand. Sand. That's not bad. It's like if you want something that will settle your if stomach you're for like, sure. If you're still feeling like, sick. Okay, that's like a two out of five. Then we got the pocky chocolate, of course. I already know these about to hit. The Japanese ones, you see, boop. Authentic. Can't read none of it. It's pocky stick. I want to get the matcha ones, but. Five out of five. I love you. I love you. Five out of five. I'm going to turn the camera off because it's been a long day. I've been up for like over 24 hours. Before we end though, the view out here is beautiful. It's not that like it's grand and stuff, but it's like a nice little view. Nice little view. That was day number one in Tokyo, Japan. I hope y'all enjoyed exploring the city a little bit with me. Thought that vlogging was gonna detract from my experience here, but it's actually helping me focus on certain things more because I'm really like looking for like the little things that stand out to me to show y'all for the video. So I think I'm gonna vlog every day. Thank y'all so much for watching. I'll see y'all in tomorrow's episode for day number two of Tokyo, Japan. Bye.